In this lesson, I'm going to show you a little bit about filters. I know we've already delved into them a little bit before, but I want to show you a specific effect. So we'll go into our samples. We're going to pull up this old door. And let's quickly get rid of that jacket like we did before, but very, very quick I'm going to try to get rid of it. And let's use the, where is it? Ah, healing brush. We'll zoom in. All right, we'll grab the healing brush again. And I'm going to grab down here. I'm going to get a bigger brush, too. Ooh, yeah, it's nice and big. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. We'll sample here, and we'll pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. All right. Doesn't need to be perfect because what we're going to do. Well, I do want to get those dark. Whoops. See, I've already messed up a little bit. <laughs> Sample, pull. Okay. Good enough. Because what I want to do is make it look like there's a window there. So let's zoom back out. All right, so it doesn't look like, it didn't do a perfect job getting that jacket to go away, but what we're going to do is we're going to put a window there so you're not going to even notice it. So, thought we'd grab one of these shots here, pull up the vacation sample. And what I want is this one because it's long and it looks like something you could be looking at out of a window. So, I'm just going to grab the rectangular marquee tool, and it doesn't have to be perfect, so I'm just going to grab it like that. And now I'm going to pull it over, so I'm going to grab the move tool. I'm going to pull it into the black and white shot, and it changed it to black and white because that's how the image is set up. We'll expand it. But you notice it's gigantic, so so what I'm gonna it's created a new layer for it. And while we're on that layer, I'm gonna transform it, edit, transform scale. And I'm gonna make it pretty small, like so. It needs to be even smaller. Maybe like that. That's probably good enough. Maybe a little bit smaller. All right, good enough. Once you got it how you want it, hit enter and it selected it. Now I'm just going to do a very quick brush stroke around it to make it look like there's a border, but first I'm going to zoom in. So let's make sure we're on the magnify in. All right, good enough. Now I'm going to grab the brush tool. There it is. That's obviously way too gigantic, so I'm going to make it 
much smaller. That's probably good. But I want some different brushes. Uh, square brushes instead of I'm going to append, which means add those sets of brushes in addition to these round ones. So now if we scroll down, we should see some square ones. Ah, there we go. We're at 15 pixels, so let's just grab 14. And now I'm going to click. Oh, first I need a color. So let's pick something fairly dark, like so. Well, not quite so dark. Maybe that. Now I'll just click here, hold down shift, and then when you click here, it creates a line, like so. And then you click here, keep holding down shift, and it just keeps creating lines. Like so. And now I'm going to just click a little in each corner more so it looks like there's some sort of corner pieces to it. Now I'm going to grab the dark, dark black. And change my brush size to maybe four like so and now I'm going to do it again this time it'll be darker so hold down shift and then ah but my opacity is at 64 percent we want this up to its highest click shift down, shift, like so. Well, it actually could be a frame, picture frame, with an actual picture, or it could be a window, either one. But I want to do one more line but very small, one pixel, on the inner part. So if we go here, hold shift, hold shift, Hold shift and hold shift. So now that gave it just a little bit of depth. So now if we zoom back out, well actually we don't have to zoom back out right now. What we're going to do is we're going to now that we're on that layer, the one that I've created here, I'm going to go up to filter, filter gallery. Now this picture is very grainy. So under distort, if you expand that, we have a lot of different options here, and if you can explore through them. Um, probably a variety of these would work pretty good, but I am going to pick grain, which makes it very grainy. But let's move the intensity down a little bit. You can move the contrast up and down till it looks right to you. And then hit OK. And now this is grainy just like the picture. So if we zoom out,
It looks pretty good. Only thing I might have done differently is that one border around the outside I might not have made pure black like I did, but that's it. But there's one effect I thought you might find useful, um, the grain effect, to match whatever uh, type of photo you're dealing with.